first thing you want to do is support the rear differential. And we're going to use a pole jack, and you can use like a floor jack and a jack stand if you want to get the best height you can get on the ground if you don't have a lift. We're just going to suspend it, lift it up just a hair so that the tension's off of that arm. And then 21 millimeter wrench and socket. So I'm going to put my wrench on the inside. Twist it. Let's see if I can pull that out. Nope. So I'll use the gun. I like to do this. Now we're going to move up here to the front bolt. This one has a lock clip on it, so you, don't, you should not have to use the wrench. But the bolt's on the outside here, right in front of the tire. And you can see how that bolt on the back has this clip. That's awesome. So it holds right in there. Stops that from spinning. I'm going to grab the arm. I'll just pull the bolt right out. So now to install, we're just going to reverse the procedure. I'm going to line the front back up. And then that way I can put this bolt right through. So now I'm going to put that nut with that stop clip right on it. And you want that to line up with this flat part of this frame bar. So we're going to just start it by hand. And then I'm going to push it through. So now when I tighten that bolt, it's going to bottom out there. Now we can put our rear bolt in. So now I can lift up the control arm and line it up with the differential bracket. Now you can see it has a little bit of an off angle to it. You got a rubber mallet. And then we're going to take the nut. I always hand start. We're just going to snug them up with the air gun and the socket and wrench because these have a torque spec to them, which is always something you want to do so you don't have any future failure. It's 21 millimeter on that. And we're snugging it. We'll do the same to the front. And we don't need a wrench. Just put the socket on the outside. And now we can get our torque wrench. So now we're going to torque. This lower control arm bolt is 129 foot-pounds. I'm just going to put my wrench on the back there and then my torque wrench. Let's hold it up and do it. Like I said, 129 foot-pounds. I'm going to move to the front, and you don't need to put a wrench on it. You've got to love it. This one's 117, so the upper closest to the driver's seat is 117 foot pounds. I'll go right out here on the outside. Now we'll just lower our pole jack, or if you have a jack. Take the jack stand out. You're ready to go.